Miss Berry, Miss Berry, Miss Berry, Miss Berry, Miss Berry, Miss Berry. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Miss Berry, and I'm back today with another video. Anyway, guys, you know, oh, don't mind this. My, <laughs> my things is dangling in the back of my head because I, you know, got the little two braids going this way and this way. And what had happened was... Let me tell y'all. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me tell y'all. So, I was outside on the balcony and just chilling, you know, just trying to get some air, clear my throats and stuff like that. Like, you know, my boobs were sweating. So, I was like, let me just go outside and just air them out, you know, some stuff like that. So, as I'm sitting there, my three-year-old decides, oh, I want to come outside too. And he was just busy and stuff. You know, my hair is really, really long. And before I knew it, I was yelling at him because he was like trying to throw stuff off the balcony, right? And my hair was on my lap. So, as I turned my head like this, these, you know, it was long. It was like just as long as my hair. So, I turned my head like this real fast. And before I knew it, all I heard was... And I was just like, oh, no. Oh, no, Lord, Lord. Oh, <laughs> please don't tell me I just ripped my hair. But that's exactly what I did. I went to the bathroom and a little piece from this side was like just pulled up. And I just was like, now I'm just going to be bald headed. Now I'm going to have to like just color in my edges. Like now I'm going to be edgesless. Like I'm, uh, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. But everybody was like, oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But I know it's that bad because like what if I take these braids out of my hair and I want to slick my hair or whatever. They're going to notice that I have a bald spot. In my hair, like that's not cute. I don't want to be walking around here looking like them thoughts, you know. Anyway, so you know, it's today Labor Day and everything, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed your holiday. Um, I didn't really do anything but you know, just be fat and stuff, and um, I went to sleep. I guess it's not really interesting, but anyway. So, I'm currently in Atlanta, as you guys may know. Um, I don't know. Some of you guys may know. Some of you guys may not know. But anyway. Um, and so, I'm going to be here till Friday. I've been here, like, already, what, like, almost three weeks now. And it seems like it's been forever, actually. But anyway, let me tell y'all what happened to me today when I was up in Kroger. Let me tell y'all what happened. So, as I'm in Kroger, you know... Pushing my son, I'm pushing a buggy or whatever, and you know, my son is in a cart and stuff like that. So, here comes you know, this little you know, lady you know, of a different race. Not saying it has anything to do with anything, but I mean, I'm just explaining it to y'all. She was pushing it or whatever, she had a little baby in the cart or whatever, the buggy. And you know, my son, every time he see a baby, he was like, Oh, look, mommy, let go a baby, baby, whatever, woo, 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 blah, blah, blah. So, my son decided to say, oh, mommy, look at the baby or whatever. And the lady, she turned around and she was just, and I was like, did you just look at my baby? I mean, my child, like my everything. Did you just like look at him crazy? Because he said, oh, mommy, look at the baby. Like, I just had to ask the Lord to give me, forgive me. But I can't even get my words out. But anyway, I just had to ask the good Lord to forgive me because before I knew it, I found myself saying, don't nobody want to look at your little bald-headed baby anyway. Damn, baby. That don't even look like no baby. That look like a man in a pamper. That baby look older than my daddy. Ain't even got no hair. And got the George Jefferson going on. I think that's his name anyway. You want to have a nerd to look at my baby crazy because he said, look at the baby. Like, he's not supposed to say that. Like, he's a kid. What do you expect him to say? What do you expect him to do? Besides, like, oh, look at the baby. And, I, you know, I'm looking like, oh, okay, I was about to give your ugly baby a little compliment. But I'm glad I didn't have to lie. So, anywho, I just had to ask God to forgive me. So, you know, had to, uh, I don't know, I feel kind of bad. It's like, no, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like I don't. <laughs> anyway, y'all. So, I wonder, have y'all ever seen somebody make a grilled cheese sandwich, like a bootleg grilled cheese sandwich? 
in the toaster. Have y'all ever in life seen that before? If y'all haven't, let me go ahead and show y'all right now. Take a look. This is how you make ghetto grilled cheese in a toaster. <laughs> you put you toast the bread, put a piece of cheese in the middle, and then you take a paper towel or something and you smush it down. And look, there you go. A bootleg grilled cheese. Ain't that crazy, y'all? How do you make a grilled cheese sandwich bootleg like that? I don't know. This is only my mom. She the one who thought about that idea. I, I just seen it, and I was like, let me just show y'all, like, who does this? Like, only people that be hungry and only got, like, a limited supply of stuff. And, you know, you be like... Let me just go ahead and throw some stuff together real quick. Woo, woo, woo. And I guess that's what she did when she had mine, when she created that. I'm not even going to say created, but when she came up with that idea. But I don't know what she be thinking sometimes because, baby, some of the stuff she be eating. Tell me why she ate. What did she eat? Hold on. I forgot. Oh, yeah. We had some tacos one day. Why did this lady why did she put pickles in her tacos? Pickles. Who does that? That was just so disgusting. Like, my stomach kind of hurt thinking about it a little bit. Anyway, y'all, I need to get out of these clothes because I'm sitting here and believe it or not, I'm in a closet. Y'all see, I'm in a closet because, um, you know, it's like the only real quiet place that I had to, you know, come make a, a quick little video for y'all or whatever because every part of the house is kind of occupied right now. So, I'm like, let me just go in the closet, but let me tell y'all, I'm in this closet and it's just hot. Like, this is just, when, when you fat and you got big boots, this is, this is a problem, like, this is why I don't like wearing clothes at all. But for the sake of people, I don't want to hurt people's eyeballs walking around naked and stuff. Because, you know, they probably wouldn't even know what to do with this. They see this fine piece of meat walking down the street. You nah. No, but for real. I need to lose some weight. And um, as soon as I get back to Indiana and I get back home, I am going to start my weight loss journey. My weight loss journey. My weight loss journey. My weight loss journey. Did y'all see that? Anywho. Um, yeah, so I'm about to go change my clothes because I'm hot. And, um, yeah, like, I can't do this. Like, my titties rubbing together, my thighs rubbing together. I feel like I'm musty. Like, I just need to go get in the shower. I need to, I just hate being hot. Like, I can't think straight. Like, okay, let me calm down because, um. I'm just making myself hotter right now. Anywho, let me go change my clothes. Let me go, you know, get my stuff together for you guys. And I don't know, I might do like a little reaction video or something or get y'all a story time. So let me go ahead and get myself together so I can start walking around looking like Resbution and all of that. So I will see you guys in a minute. Let me change. That's more like it. I'm back, y'all. Did you miss me? Anyway, um, I feel a little better than I did yesterday because I know I had like posted a video. It was kind of like a little, you know, emotional and all of that. But you know, being around family and stuff, I feel better. I feel a little better and stuff. I hate that I didn't get a chance to like really vlog today around everybody like I expected to. But um, we didn't really do too much. It wasn't really as you know hype and stuff as it normally is when everybody get together that's because everybody wasn't there but anyway i don't know it is what it is so i got a question for y'all just a random question have you ever like i mean growing up in school i was like always no i wasn't because i was like a whole bully like i'm not proud of it but i was a bully for real and then I became, like, this little girl in, like, a little box or whatever. And I didn't really want to talk to nobody like that. You know, I kind of stayed to myself. You know, I knew everybody or whatever, but I was just focused on what I needed to be focused on. 
And anyway, so like growing up, my people used to talk about me and say, oh, you hairy, da 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 you got a mustache. I don't have no mustache, by the way, y'all. I ain't got one. Anyway, I used to want to, you know, talk about you and say all of that type of stuff to you or oh, whatever. Not to you. To me. Yeah, to me. What was I talking about? Anyway, so, <laughs> why did my piece just fly out my head like that? I'm trying to keep them up because I don't want no more of my hair missing. I don't want no more of my hair gone. I don't want no more of it gone. Missing. You know, stuff like that. Ooh, this camera about to fall. Anywho, you know, but one thing I learned is it's nothing that you can say about me that I don't already say about myself. You want to say, oh, girl, your head big. And I'm going to say, girl, bitch, I know it's big. You ain't got to tell me. Like, I know I got a big head. I got a dog. I guess my baby wants to join. Where you at, Shamar? Come here. Say hey. Hey. You say what's up, y'all. What's up, y'all? <laughs> what you say? I ain't not on the cereal. You eating your cereal? Yeah. How old are you? Do three. Three. Yeah. <laughs> Big boy. We see, we see, we see, we see, we see. You want to see? Yeah, let me see it. Go finish eating your cereal, boy. I gotta get tata. What? I gotta get tata. I don't even know what you're saying. Go eat your cereal. <laughs> he's just so cute. The little apple of my eye when he's not being a brat. Anyway, like I was saying, there's really nothing that you can say about me that I don't already think about myself. Like, you want to say your eyebrows stick. You know what I'm going to say? Oh, I know my eyebrows are stick. You see these? If I don't keep them arched, they're going to be joining together. And I'm going to have a unibrow. And when I was younger, I was hairy. And I couldn't get my eyebrows arched. And my mom let me walk around with a unibrow. Like, I can't. I mean, they just, I have to keep them arched. Like, there's just no way around it. So, yeah. It, 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 like, I was sensitive back then. But, you know, I just learned... So you don't just go with it like if you I'm trying to get the pictures out of there because I don't want them all in my video and stuff like that. It's about me. Anyway, so yeah. It's nothing you could pretty much tell me about myself that I don't already know. Like I know I'm fat and I know I have big boobs and I know I'm unproportional. So like if I can just get rid of these. I will be wonderful. But my grandma always be like, Yeah, you know, somebody loves us. All of them men's be looking at those. They love those, whatever. You know, woo, 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 blah, blah, blah. But men don't have to have them. They don't have to have back problems. They don't have to have like problems where you can't fit into your clothes. They don't have to have problems to where your bra straps be breaking. They don't have to have problems when you be laying down in bed and you be rolling over on them. They don't those problems so i just be like so i don't i don't care i just had to make sure my lip was still there because i just flicked myself oh i need to know where will we go where will we be ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all ain't see that. Oh, I kind of hurt my stomach a little bit. I just flipped backwards. See, look, that's all this weight. This seat couldn't hold me. That hurt. My stomach hurt. <laughs> y'all, let me tell y'all a story about when I was working at CarMax car dealership. So... You know, I was this old man, you know, walking in there, whatever. And yes, y'all, I sold cars for a year. It was like, what, back in 2015? But anyway, so like when I have my contacts in my eyes, they're gray. And, you know, I sold a car to this man. And he was like a little older cat. But he was like one of those older cats that's like one of them drunk uncles that stay in their mama basement type things. 
like and it's always loud at every barbecue every family thing like just everything in general and they always 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 eating up everything and got to take about 10 plates home or whatever anyway so you know i saw him a car i think he bought i don't know he bought a cadillac I don't really exactly remember which kind, but he bought a Cadillac. It was like maybe like a 2013 or something like that. It wasn't really like a, uh, you know, a new, 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 new Cadillac. I think it was a Cadillac CTS, I think. Anyway, so I bought him a Cadillac. I mean, he bought a Cadillac. The Okay, he bought a Cadillac or whatever, and... He kept calling me cat eyes, cat eyes, cat eyes. Like, I won't do business with nobody but cat eyes because my eyes was gray. Long story short, he kept, you know, basically trying to talk to me or whatever. And just like, you know, like, let me take you out or whatever. And no, I take that back. He didn't buy a cat. Like, he bought a Benz. It was, it was just some, you know, poppy, trendy car or whatever. But anyway, y'all. Um. I'm trying to figure out how I want to sit this. I don't really want the TV to be in there. So I don't really care. Why am I adjusting? Anyway, y'all. Like I was saying. Stay back. Um. What was I here? So, yeah, she was just like really trying to talk to me, like hit on me and stuff. Talk about home. Wait, first off, before I say that, he bought the car. Cash. It was not finance, no, that he bought it straight cash. So I'm like, okay. That's okay, right, I see you. I see you today. I see you. Mm hmm. Woo, 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 woo. And then he talked to me. Let me take y'all on a date. You know, show you what it's like to be a man. Woo, woo, woo. All type of stuff. Then this old man had the audacity to tell me that he wanted to take me on a date to Stars and Stripes. Stars and Stripes. I'm not exactly sure if you guys know what Stars and Stripes, you know, is. But it's pretty much a bowling alley. Or it could be, a, no, I think it's a bowling alley. I was about to say skating ring, but I think it's a bowling alley. Anyway, either way I go. Okay, hold on. I had to talk to myself for a second. I was just like, so? And myself was like, yes, please. Yeah, well, you ain't even got to think about it. Because you already know. You already know the answer to this. So I was like, yeah, you right, you right, you right. How? Stay right. Like, why you keep falling? Anyway, I'm like, how are you? Sir, I'm gonna purchase a new, a new hot car, cash money, and you sitting here trying to max me. I want to take me on a date to Stars and Stripes. Mm -mm, nah, sir. Mm -mm, nah, mm -mm. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. It's okay. I'm good. Like, I just feel insulted. Is it because you like seventy some and I'm like in my twenties? Like. Do you think I'm a little kid or something like that? I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese and play with the little colorful balls. I just, I mean, I felt kind of insulted. Like, <laughs> that was like the most craziest thing ever. Like, so he thought, he thought. Anywho, I, um, I don't know what to say about people because. Some of the things, my arms is just fat. You see that? You see the jiggle? That's why I need to lose some weight. Everybody else tells me, you ain't that fat, blah, 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 blah. I know I'm fat. I'm huge. I need to lose a lose. I said a lose. I need to at least lose 60 pounds. Tops. Just 60. That's what I need to lose. So, we'll see. But anyway, you know, I be just... I don't know. I'd be jealous <laughs> looking at everybody else's bodies and stuff because I feel like, you know, my body is not snatched to the gods, honey. It's just not. At least I don't think that. I mean, I don't know. 
So I don't really like wearing regular clothes and stuff. I keep holding this. Let me put this down. Okay. I don't really like wearing regular clothes and stuff for that exact reason. So, you know, you know my confidence level is like a little bit hairy sometimes. So, mm -hmm. and then that, like when we wear big boots, sometimes it's just like hard to find certain stuff or not even necessarily, but we be trying to, you know, sometimes your top's got to be bigger just so it can fit over your jugs and stuff. Like, that is just like the worst thing ever. And I know it'd be like some people probably be looking at people would be, guess what? I want to wear a halter top. I'm going to wear a halter top. So, so at the end of the day, I mean, I guess it really don't matter. Like, you know, you should just be confident in the skin you in, honey, because everything anybody else says don't matter. It's your life. You're living for you. So, why let people talk about, you know, you bringing your self-confidence down? But, I'm not saying, oh, my bad. I'm not saying that it's okay. It is not, I repeat, it is not by any, any, any circumstances okay to just wear absolutely anything. It is just not. If you know you wear a size 20, why would you try to squeeze in a size four? It's just, you know, some things you just can't make up. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to go, I don't know, gather my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed your holiday. You know, you cooked, you ate enough for me and stuff like that. You know, I know somebody probably gained like 30 pounds today, you know, stuff like that. I didn't really eat like that. I was trying to watch my figure. So, you know, I just ate, you know, about three hamburgers and two hot dogs. You know, just on slight. Nothing major. So, yeah, I'm be all, all pumped up. So, when I get back home for that workout, you know, so I can lose this retribution body. You know, I can't be going nowhere and stuff. You know, I, that's the reason why. I, another thing, y'all. I went to Deep River Water Park. And I didn't even really want to wear a two-piece bathing suit. I was just too afraid that I was going to, you know, try to get on a ride or whatever. And they probably was going to think I was naked or something. Like, I just had a flashback of Norbit. Like, the movie with Retribution. I didn't want nobody, you know, coming up to me talking about some, you know, are you wearing bottoms? And then I have to lift my stomach up and then everybody around watching and stuff like that. And then, you know, I feel kind of embarrassed. So, I just wore a two-piece. I mean, a one-piece. And I had on some shorts because... I don't want nobody looking at me crazy.